Hi, this is Mrs. Spain, and I am going to show you how to create a mastery path in Canvas. Um, by now, you should have taken the online Canvas course, or you are familiar with Canvas, and you know that everything belongs into a module. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to toggle between this Google slideshow and my Canvas course. So if you will just bear with me, um, what is Mastery Paths and why should we use it? It's for um, individualized instruction. So Mastery Path just allows instructors to customize the student learning experience based on student performance. So um, you always start off with a pretest. Based off of that pretest, it will take them um, down a course, uh, a set of coursework and a post-test um, based on how they did on their pretest. Um, that makes sense. So what you want to do is um, you're going to do a couple of things to begin with. We're going to turn on Mastery Paths in our course settings, and I'm going to show you where that's located. And then you need to come up with a plan. What is your, what is your plan for instruction? Um, and set that path up. So as you can see, there's like a post-test. And then based on that post-test, you're going to have some kids that do very well. And so they're going to have a challenge um, and then a post-test. And then some kids will need some additional practice, but they may not need um, severe support from you. So they'll have just additional practice. And then you're going to have some students that need um, some more in-depth intervention. So those would be the three paths that we would set up. And then you also need to come up with a point range for that. So when you give that pretest, you're gonna give them a point range. So if they make a zero to a 40, they would go down this avenue and so forth. So those are the things that need to be set up first. So I'm gonna show you how to set this up in Canvas. So you're gonna go to your course and you're gonna go down to settings on the left-hand side of the navigation. And we're going to click on Feature Options, okay? And under Feature Options, you just need to make sure that the Mastery Paths is turned on. You can also turn on the Learning Mastery Gradebook and the Student Learning Mastery Gradebook. I don't know a lot about this, um, but a lot of teachers that have used it have also turned it on. Um, so, but the main thing is to turn on Mastery Paths, okay? So once you have that turned on, your next step is to decide what you're going to put into your module, okay? So, I'm going to move on. Um, the things that you can add in a mastery path include quizzes, assignments, discussions, and content pages. Content pages are where you would add videos, and if you took notes or you added notes and you want them just to study those again, that would belong in the content pages. Um, if you'll notice that the quizzes and the discussions have to be a, uh, given a grade in order to move on, okay? So make sure you keep that in mind when you're setting all of this up. Just because you give it a grade doesn't mean it's going into the grade book, into um, hack for the students to see. It just, by giving it a grade, it allows that student to move on to the next path in their mastery paths. Okay. So what I'm going to do is show you, I've kind of set up a module already or a master, mastery path. Everything that you include in your mastery path has to be in one module, okay? Everything has to be set up before you can um, designate the paths, okay? So keep that in mind. So right now I have a pretest, a challenge problem, two different video tutorials, a practice problem and a post test. Now nothing is in any of this. It's just a title. Um, if I were a teacher and I were creating this information um, or this path, then I would actually add in that step. But just for show, I have nothing in here. Um, so once you create your titles and you add all that information in there, we have to set them up as a mastery path um, item. So to do this, I'm going to go through each of these items and set it up. So I'm going to click on pretest, and I'm going to click on edit, 
and this is where you would go in, you would write your directions, you would make it a graded quiz. Um, all of this is where you would set all of this up. And then down at the very bottom, this is the important step. Instead of assigning to everyone, you're going to change this and you're going to select mastery paths. Okay, so everything that you add in a mastery path will need to be changed to mastery paths. So I'm going to save this and even though it says this, I'm going to hit continue. And I'm going to go back to my module. And I'm going to do that for my challenge problem, which is a an assignment. And I'm going to do that for um, the video tutorials, which are pages. So I'm going to show you what it looks like as a page. So I just showed you what it looked like for a, um, a quiz. That's exactly what it will look like for an assignment. But pages are different. So pay attention to this one. This is what a page would look like. I'm going to click on edit. And I'm going to scroll to the bottom and right here is what you're going to check allow in mastery paths okay and I'm going to hit save all right so once I have all of that set up then I'm going to move on to the next step okay um, these directions are in this PowerPoint so quizzes assignments and discussions you're going to scroll to the bottom, change it from everyone to mastery path. On all your content pages, you're going to scroll to the bottom and you're going to check the box that says allow in mastery paths. I'm going to pause my video and I'm going to go in and change the rest of these to set them up in mastery paths and come back. Okay, now that we've assigned everything to mastery paths, we're going to go in and create the different paths that students will take based off of their pre-test results. So the first thing you're going to do is click on pre-test or pre-assessment, whatever you've named it. And we're going to click the edit button. And there should be a mastery paths tab that you're going to click on. Okay. Now, if you'll notice that there are three different paths right here, you could just use two paths. Okay. But you can't use more than three paths. Um, and you can also change the point value. So if you say that students who place uh, who score 80 or more on the pre-assessment will do the challenge problem. You could definitely do that, but I'm just going to leave it as 70 for right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the plus sign. So anybody that scores higher than 70, they're going to do my challenge problem. So I'm going to search for challenge problem and I'm going to select here and hit add. Okay. And then after they finish the challenge problem, they're going to do the post test. So I'm going to check that box and add that item. So I'm going to do that for all three paths. Um, for this one, they're going to do the practice. So they just need a little more practice before they move on to the post test. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to add the post test. And then on the students that need additional help. I'm going to do the video tutorials. So I'm going to do this one and the second one and I'm going to add those items but I'm also going to add the practice problems and maybe it's a different one. Maybe it's uh, one with fewer um, questions for them to complete and then they're also going to finish or take the post test. So I'm going to add that one as well. So for um, a path that has quite a few options, what you can do is, since I have two different videos, what I can do is I can click this little and button and say they have a choice. They can either watch video one or video two before they complete the practice problems. So you have that option as well. You also have the option of deleting an item or moving it, okay? So once we have those navigations in place, then we're going to go down and hit save. Okay. And then also, this is important. Um, you have the ability to lock a module and lock 
specific um, parts of the mastery path until they have completed the first part. So what you would do to complete those edits is go up to the top of your module and click the little three dots right here and hit edit. And then you can lock this mastery path until a specific date. And then right here is where you would add your requirements. So um, I'm not gonna go through this, but you can say that they have to complete the pretest before they can view um, the next item. And so you would go through the entire thing. Um, I'm gonna show you what that looks like over here on this PowerPoint, that page completed. Um, so right here, they have to do the pre-assessment and uh, submit the assignment. And then they would go to this Ed Puzzle and they would mark it done. Then they would go through, so you would go back and forth. Um, this is important, uh, an important step. I don't know a lot about this, but it is spelled out for you right here. Um, and I'm going to add this PowerPoint presentation at, on the last slide of this tutorial. So, okay, so we've set everything up. Um, we've added our paths. Um, we've added the requirements and then the last thing we need to do is publish our module so I'm going to publish my module by hitting this little publish sign and it should publish everything within the module um, when I go home let's see if it'll show up yesterday when I did this it didn't show up for a while but you should be able once the students start taking the quizzes it should show up right here okay I'll show you what it looks like so right here is a breakdown of the three different paths and what you should be able to do is click on the hyperlink and it'll show you what students are in that path and what they scored okay so at the very end of this I want to show you that I have linked all of the canvas guides for mastery paths I'm also going to add pages linked to her slideshow um, on how to create and use a mastery path. She did some, she did a couple of videos on um, the new quizzes feature um, and why that's a good option for mastery paths. So if you have questions, you can email myself or um, Paige or Amanda. Um, Melanie over at North, Sheila at Boyd, any of us should be knowledgeable and should be able to find the information that you need.